Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Tuesday, December 19th. I'm Luke Clary. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that three out of four infants who died suddenly while under the care of a Seoul hospital had bacterial infections. Authorities say test results suggest it was an antibiotic-resistant bacteria, but that doesn't explain why the babies died in such close succession. The four newborn babies died at around 3 p.m. Saturday, when the babies inside the intensive care unit showed abnormal symptoms, including fever. The medical staff at Iwa Women's University Medical Center, Mokdong Hospital, sampled blood from three of them. This was about two hours and 40 minutes before the first cardiac arrest took place. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said that based on their initial blood culture test results of the three newborns, Citrobacter fruundi, which is a bacteria suspected of antibiotic resistance, was found in their bodies. Officials said that they are conducting genetic analysis for an accurate diagnosis. Citrobacter fruundi is an intestinal bacteria that exists in normal adults. However, in rare cases for people with low immunity, it's known to cause pathogenic infections such as respiratory, urinary or blood infections. The bacteria is also prone to antibiotic resistance, which raises the possibility of the hospital's misuse of antibiotics being a factor in the newborn's death. However, even if bacterial infection is confirmed, it still doesn't explain why the four newborns died at nearly the exact same time. Health authorities are looking into the case and remain open to all possibilities, including medical malpractice. Officials are also following up on the condition of 12 other newborns who left Iwa Medical Center or were transferred to another hospital since the deadly incident was reported. Authorities say that four of the 12 are confirmed to be infected with the rotavirus and that additional testing is underway.